And I'm going to put a little bit of pulled pork on just on the side. Yeah. Rick and Lynette Dantzler have a combined 30 years of cooking experience. His meat, my sides, we combined them and we decided we wanted to uh, open up a food truck. Giving their customers at Rick D's Barbecue happy faces and satisfied bellies for the last three years. Yes, ma'am, this is it. We have collars, we have mac and cheese, we have all the sides you can think of. Lynette says it's not just soul food, they sell pastas and sandwiches too. We normally try to take the food truck out at least uh, four or five times a month. In October, it stopped by the food truck roundup. It was a great success. The city of Warner Robins says the three events brought out over 21,000 people and did nearly $780,000 in business sales. I mean, anytime we go out and, and, you know, we're able to help the community or make them happy and make money, it's a success to me. Rick D himself says the success wasn't just in the money or the new customers, but the tools that they walked away with. You definitely have to have, you know, your game face on um, and your price has got to be competitive. The city started the roundups and changed a city ordinance this fall to make selling easier for these businesses. Lynette says it was a benefit. But you get to see new ideas, new visions, and you're able to kind of use some of them and you kind of can grow. And they can't wait to keep sharing their barbecue and more. I would love to see more. Vendor applications are open for the city's 2024 food truck roundups. They closed the 1st of December. In Warner Robins, Megan Western 13, WMAZ News.